True crime has always held a macabre fascination for many, providing a glimpse into the darkest corners of the human psyche. Dharma Monster, The Jeffrey Dharma Story a Netflix limited series created by Ryan Murphy and Ian Brennan delves into the disturbing life and crimes of one of America's most notorious serial killers, Jeffrey Dahmer. This episode will review the series, exploring its portrayal of Dahmer's life and its ability to shed light on the complexities of his character and the surrounding sociocultural context. A glimpse into Dahmer's life. The series, consisting of ten episodes, unfolds the life of Jeffrey Dahmer, from his troubled childhood in Bath, Ohio, to his horrific crimes in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Dahmer Monster provides viewers with an in-depth look at the early warning signs of Dahmer's disturbing behavior, as well as his troubled family dynamics, which contributed to his descent into darkness. The show excels in its character development, especially in portraying Dharma himself, played chillingly by Evan Peters. Peters manages to capture the eerie essence of the serial killer, portraying him as both a predator and a deeply tormented individual. The series humanizes Dharma without ever excusing his actions, a balance that's essential in exploring the complexities of true crime stories. The Dark Spiral, Dharma's Crimes, Dharma's Gruesome Crimes form the core of the series, and Dharma Monster does not shy away from their explicit portrayal. The series recreates several of Dharma's murders and dismemberments with disturbing realism, not for the faint of heart. These scenes, while graphic, serve a purpose in highlighting the brutality of his crimes, making it abundantly clear that Dharma was indeed a monster. One of the strengths of the series is its willingness to confront the viewer with the harsh reality of Dharma's actions, emphasizing the importance of acknowledging the true horror of his deeds rather than romanticizing or sensationalizing them. However, the explicit nature of these scenes may make it unsuitable for some viewers, and caution is advised. The role of law enforcement, Dharma Monster, also sheds light on the failures of law enforcement and the justice system in apprehending Dharma before he committed his most heinous crimes. The series portrays the repeated missed opportunities to stop him, underscoring the importance of improved communication and cooperation between different police jurisdictions. One of the standout performances in the series is that of Richard Jenkins as Detective Patrick Kennedy who becomes increasingly frustrated with the bureaucratic obstacles hindering the capture of Dharma. This aspect of the series serves as a stark reminder of the real-life implications of such failures and the need for reform in law enforcement agencies. Exploring Dharma's Psychology the series delves deep into Dharma's psychology, attempting to understand what drove him to commit such heinous acts. It explores his troubled childhood, his struggles with sexuality, and his increasing detachment from reality. Dharma's relationship with his father, portrayed by Michael Learned, provides valuable insight into the dynamics of their dysfunctional family. The show doesn't provide easy answers or excuses for Dharma's actions, but invites viewers to grapple with the complex interplay of nature and nurture that contributed to his development as a serial killer. This nuanced approach makes Dharma Monster a thought-provoking exploration of the human psyche's darkest corners. The Victims and Their Stories While much of the series focuses on Dharma himself, it also takes time to humanize his victims. Each victim is portrayed as an individual with a life, dreams, and loved ones. By doing so, the series pays tribute to those whose lives were tragically cut short by Dharma's brutality and reminds viewers of the profound loss suffered by their families. The portrayal of the victims is respectful and sensitive, emphasizing the importance of acknowledging their humanity rather than reducing them to statistics 
in a true crime narrative. Dharma Monster effectively conveys the ripple effects of Dharma's crimes on the lives of the victims' families, further highlighting the devastating consequences of his actions. The Sociocultural Context Dharma Monster also explores the sociocultural context of the time in which Dharma committed his crimes. It addresses issues such as homophobia, police bias, and the challenges faced by marginalized communities in seeking justice. The series underscores the need for a more inclusive and compassionate society, as well as a criminal justice system that treats all individuals equally. In today's world, where discussions about mental health and the treatment of marginalized groups are increasingly prevalent, Dharma Monster serves as a reminder of the importance of addressing these issues to prevent future tragedies. In today's world, where DI...